Today's tutorial is going to be on how to create toolbars. These toolbars that we have by default uh, with uh, the installation of ePlan permit me to do a lot of things, but I can also customize this to the way and feel that I like. Uh, one example here is a toolbar that I've created with certain type of uh, AutoCAD style connections, um, some added uh, functions such as um, placing automatic wire numbers, uh, generating those wire numbers and deleting all those wire numbers I just placed. Another one that we have is uh, another one that I created here. You can cr click on uh, terminal buttons just to for inserting uh, symbols such as terminals or fuse terminals. Um, also I can you know use these toolbars to bring in some symbols. Well I'm gonna with these uh, toolbars we can uh, change certain attributes uh, and pretty much manipulate them the way we like. So to give you an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in here a motor. I'm going to bring a three-phase motor, just drop him in there, that's fine. I'm also going to give him uh, some kind of protection here. Drop that in, fine. I'm going to drop in some terminals. This one here. Drop these three here. Okay. Now, what I have here most likely, and uh, a lot of people want to have um, these uh, uh, lines uh, dashed. A lot of people, uh, when they are explaining or when they're drawing, they want to specify that uh, this motor is in the field and anything that's connected to the field will be a dashed line. Uh, one way that we can do this is uh, by bringing in a connection definition point. I'm going to place three of them all over this. We can't really see them, but if I hit the letter I, I know that my connections are placed. I'm just using a a symbol that's set to uh, not visible. Um, in here I would have to go into the properties, double click on every, er, each and every single one of these and uh, change the properties to dashed and well I want to make it sort of in an automated way by creating a button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to options, toolbars and I'm going to go to customize. In the customize uh, menu dialog, what you have is a command tab. This command tab here, I have uh, different type of categories. One of these categories is actually called actions. In this actions, I have here set graphical formats for of connections. So I already have uh, a property or some buttons that are ready for me to play with. So I'm just going to grab it. All I have to do is hold my mouse button and drag and drop it out. It shows me a little button on my screen. And here I can associate a image file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select an image file. Um, you can create your own and they have to be 16 by 16. Um, this image file that I'm going to create or I'm going to use is I'm just going to use here this one to specify that it's going to be a red uh, uh, wire or connection and dashed. You can probably put a little line underneath it. You can use uh, the easy icon creator specific tools that can permit you to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a little tooltip. This little tooltip will let me know what this button actually does in life. So I'm going to say uh, dashed connections red because I can change color attributes and so on and so forth. Underneath here you have the command line. In the command line you have different for, uh, properties that you can play with or manipulate. Um, this whole string here is actually the command itself. Well, I'm not going to touch that. And here underneath I got width and I have a question mark, color, type, and pattern length. Um, these question marks are exactly the information I need to populate. So the width I'm not going to play with. I'm going to go straight to color. And the color red I know for a fact it's 1. So I'm going to put in color 1. And the type is going to be dashed and dash is also type 1. Um, for additional information of what colors, numbers, or type numbers, as you go along, you'll get a used to it, accustomed to it, and you'll know which ones they are. If anything, you can always call me up uh, and the support line. I can give you a hand for those of you who have support here in Canada. Um, what I'm going to do is, once that's done, I'm just going to hit OK. So my button is now created. I'm just going to get hit OK to come out of this dialog. And now all I have to do is just highlight my connections or my connection definition points, hit my button update my connections and there you go. So there's a m multitude of ways that we can play around with these uh, toolbars. They're really fun and uh, they permit you to do a lot, a lot of things. Thank you.